Okay, I'm going to try to show you how to model the body of the ring using this plan for Reno. First of all, what you're going to do is, is just draw the profiles, the main profiles of the ring. I did it with curves. And one thing you have to remember here as a rule of thumb is that draw the most simple curves you can. So we're going to use this curve of the command. Okay, so one thing to do here is to add some profiles here in order to get this circular shape. So for that we're going to use curve section. We're going to select these curves. And we're going to draw a profile at 45 degrees and another profile 90 degrees. Okay. As you can see, the uh, the best thing to 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 use uh, skin command is to have like faces compound of of four sides. But here, as you can see, we're gonna have a five side segment. This will produce a star point. So this means that in this part the the surface is going to stretch, so we need to de reduce the area where the star point is going to be. For that I'm going to add some more segment here, and we reduce the star point area to this part. So next step is to copy this line, I'm going to use mirror with copy, and then Oh, sorry. And then we're going to copy these lines also with mirror. There. Well, another thing we have to do here is just making another section. We're going to use interpolated curve with snap on. And we're going to draw from midpoint to midpoint. Endpoint, midpoint, there. This will reduce the star point area, and it also gives a better termination, a better final termination of the surface here on the top. So, I think we have all the curves we need. Okay, now that we have all the curves need to define this shape of the ring, we're gonna use the T-Skin command. But first, we have to split these lines. So, select them all, run the split curves command, and with this split, you're gonna see if the intersections are right. They are in this case, so we hit OK, and now we have all split. OK, so select all these curves and, route the, and run the G-Skin command. We double check with display, and to define the topology, we, we need to see this face layout. So, what we want here is it's an open surface. So, in order to deselect these faces, we just click on them and we define this topology as the one we need for our shape. So when um, we challenge clicked and tight good fitting on, we're gonna make a preview. Okay, so we have a pretty acceptable surface here. We can hit OK. I'm gonna delete the input curves. So here we have the the surface. As you can see, here in the star point area we have some like 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 creases. To avoid that, just run the set star point moon nest with five steps, generally this, this is enough. 
so now we got it. So as you can see, we need to adjust some things on the surface, like these curvatures. So for that, we're gonna turn points on. Just select these points. And with the manipulator, we're gonna just that just that curvature. The same thing with these points. And another thing to correct is to pull these turpons uh, control points so we select this and this so I think now we have the surface we need. Okay, so just an example, I transform the surface to a new surface here. And I use native Reno tools in order to finish the shape. So here we got the bothering. ring.